know, I know I took some time off, but I didn't forget how to ride. The perfect season's in the back of my mind, but uh, if I don't do it, I can say I've done it before. Ricky Carmichael has been absolutely perfection this year on the outdoor season. Ricky Carmichael picks up the magical 100. Undefeated in 2004 is Ricky Carmichael. That's where all the pressure is. When you're sitting on the line and you made it this far, you're like, you can't screw it up now. This is it. Ricky Carmichael wraps up not yet another moto, another title, another overall, but the perfect season comes to a conclusion. Your winner from Glen Helen, Ricky Carmichael. I'm so happy. I was almost in tears the last half, and I had a lump in my throat for sure. It's, it's amazing. Hey everybody, I'm Ricky Carmichael, number four, Team Makita Suzuki, and uh, we're out here at my farm. This is my Supercross track, and uh, it's hard to believe, but it's that time of year. We're getting ready for the 2005 Supercross series, and man, I'm just ecstatic. It could be uh, what people are calling the best, uh, best hyped up Supercross season of all time. It's going to be fun, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Uh, I think everybody's gunning for me, and. Uh, you know, I'm just happy. You know, I'm on a new team and uh, starting a new point in my career, and uh, I'm just loving what I'm doing, man. It's uh, for the fans at this point. Everything that happens now is icing on the cake and uh, just having a blast. You know, the older I get, the more I appreciate what I do, and I'd like to say thank you to you guys for all the support you've given me through my career, and uh, th thanks again, and let's keep this train going. You know, it, as easy as it may have looked to some people, it's always hard. You know, you got guys chasing you down, and uh, and and I had to ride hard all the time. You know, for for the most part, at least the first half of the race. Uh, you know, to try to get a big lead and 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 put it on cruise. And even when I was on cruise, it wasn't like I was totally cruising. I still had to be on my game and uh, you know keep keep putting some good laps in because the guys behind me were obviously trying to catch me. Uh, but you know, I, I I knew in my heart that I to myself I was the favorite to win the title, but uh, I didn't think that I would do it in the fashion that I did. You know, I never really, you know, try to put too much pressure on myself with the uh, with the perfect season because you know it just weighs on you, makes it a long season. So I tried to really push it aside and just take every race, you know, one at a time, each race, one at, one at a time, every, you know, every single moto is a, a new race. And uh, that's how I really dealt with it and try not to pressure myself. I just want to say to all you guys, I said before, you know, hey, you got a job to do today. Thank you for Everything, you know, that's why I wanted to bring everybody together this morning. And, uh, you know, it's a tough day for me. I didn't, you know, I don't want to be in this position, but things change and times change. And thank you for all the support. You guys, uh, Honda's the best team I've ever worked with. Uh, you guys are a bunch of great people. You know, I've built really good relationships with you guys. And, you know, as much as uh, everybody on here has a part, and, uh, wouldn't have the success that we had without you guys, or I, I would have for sure. And uh, I just want to say thank you, and let's uh, keep our heads up today, and try to win another race, and uh, get the second first race. Together by this bike and I'm gonna come over. Hey, we have two of them when they get rid of the guys in front, you know. I ride for Suzuki now, and I'm looking to try to give them as many race wins and as many championships as possible. Uh, I know for myself, I want I want another Supercross championship for sure, and uh, I think they got a great two-stroke. I think the two-stroke is the best for Supercross, and uh, that definitely is nice to be. And it's comforting to be um, probably the best two-stroke out there, knowing that this is probably going to be the most competitive year 
in Supercross. And, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to racing it. And, uh, you know, I'm going to retire with this team. And uh, it's nice to know that, uh, you know, I'm on a team that uh, uh, has a great, a great bike. You know, going from uh, Honda to Suzuki, you know, Suzuki, the team is, you know, you're kind of uh, uh, in the company itself, not just the race team, but the company itself. You're, you know, you're, uh, you're somebody there, really, you know, and uh, that's a nice feeling. It's, it's almost has the mentality of Kawasaki. Uh, Honda's just a huge company, you know, really, really big company. And, uh, uh, you know, but like I said, I had a, a great career there, but, I, you know, I feel really comfortable at Suzuka. I, you know, I think that uh, it's a great place for me. <clears throat> I feel, you know, like everybody is family there, and uh, that's a great feeling. I definitely don't, don't ride, you know, for money at this point. I've made, I've made a great living for myself, you know, uh, you know, with all the wins and all the championships, and uh, I don't have to race. To, you know, to to support what to, to, to support my lifestyle. Uh, as I get older, I enjoy what I do, and uh, I love the, I love to race. I love the challenge, and uh, it's just fun being at the races around all your friends every weekend, and and I enjoy it. It was funny, you know, uh, the first day on the Suzuki, we went out to Supercross track. I hadn't ridden Supercross in a long time, actually, since last November, and uh, I took a week off after Glen Helen. <clears throat> So uh, the transition from the four-stroke to the two-stroke wasn't bad because I had so much, you know, that week off there. And uh, it was fun, you know. Like I said, the bike is good, so the power was nice. And it was just something different. I think uh, there's nothing that sounds better than a two-stroke going through the hoop section. You know, it's just, uh, it's awesome. And, uh, you know, I, it, it was a fun day. It was just meeting all the team guys, riding a new bike, getting set up. It was a... Uh, Special day for sure. Uh, I'm sure, you know, just because uh, if we're going to the outdoor event, you know, I think I'd be the, the you know, I'd, I'd be the guy. But uh, since I haven't raced Supercross in a year now and Reed has, has the title, I think, uh, you know, definitely they're counting on other guys to win. But uh, yeah, I'm sure if you ask different people, they'll have their you know their own sayings. But I, I you know I'll take being the underdog. That, that's fine. You know I've been at the top of the boat for a long time now. And underdogs, be, it's fun sometimes. We'll let the other guys take all the load for a while. Uh, I think I'm in the best position to win the title. If you know you look at my program and look at the team and. Uh, you know, I got a lot of experience, and that's what I'm going to put to work for me this year. Well, I, you know, I, I definitely, uh, you know, I have my fun. You know, I go down to Destin, and you, ha you have to have fun. To get longevity, you have to have fun and not burn yourself right out. And uh, I think as I've gotten older, that's what I've, what I've learned to do is have my fun, when I can, but also buckle down when it's time, and that's how come I'm, I'm still going. You know, I think uh, I've ridden so much it'd be easy to get burned out if, if I wasn't, you know, have if I didn't have my play time. It's funny. It's like I have seasons. You know, like in the winter time, obviously it's too cold to go down to the beach and such. So uh, I really enjoy deer hunting. I do a lot of that, and uh, that that's in the winter. And then obviously in, in springtime we'll you know play some play some golf, and then uh, when the summer rolls around we'll start getting the boat cranked up and you know going out on the lake or going out to the beach and, and hanging out and so I definitely have my my fun times planned out. Hmm, second best probably. Uh, Second, if I'm second best, I'd have to say, uh, shoot, man, that's a great question. It's probably second best at uh, cycling, you know. That's probably what I do the most besides ride. 
Let's do a lot of cycling, road, road cycle. I don't know what I'm going to do when I retire. I, you know, I, I'm just taking it one year at a time right now. I know for the next two or three years, I know where I'm, where I'm going to be, and that's going to be out, out here riding all the time. So uh, if I had to look into the future, I'd like to uh, you know, do something like Jeff Stanton does and uh, help, the, help the younger people. You know, help the younger racers and uh, just be a good ambassador and and do spontaneous events. And if you know, if I want to go do the high jump at X Games or Supermoto, do that. If I want to go race Daytona or race Atlanta Supercross or do an outdoor, I want I want to be able to do that and have that freedom. And and on a serious note, you know, definitely have a family. <laughs>